<laughs> Welcome back to the basement. <laughs> I like that. That was you, nice. You liked it? Yeah. Yeah. I think, I, I don't know what it is. I just, you know. You're glowing today. You're very, Am I? Yeah, you're very hot. I don't know, man. Coming off of the boxing, I just got more energy now. Yeah, you, you look, you look, you look very happy. Your eyes are fucking shining, dude. <laughs> this, I feel like the sweater is good with my skin tone. Also, yeah, you got. I'm a, firing on all cylinders at yeah, the moment. You got a twinkle in your eye. Yeah, this is gonna end tomorrow, though. Yeah, probably. Probably. I mean, yeah, I, yeah. you know, I'll put on a different sweater. It'll be a different day. It's yeah. over. Happiness for you only lasts so long. Nah, but it's good. I'll savor it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll savor it. You're gonna have a great day today. Yeah. I hope. I hope I didn't jinx it. Probably. Yeah. But you you look great, man. If Thanks. I was, if I was in like in the dudes, I'd cock you down. I th- <laughs> You'd cock me down? Yeah, for sure. Really? Yeah. No hesitation. I'm no, no hesitation. Just you're re- straight cock down. I mean, you're very cock downable. Am I? Yeah. All right. I appreciate that. For sure. I man. like to think I'm cock downable. Who'd you cock me down? That's a real question. I mean, it would take some, some work, but I'd definitely yeah. get there eventually. Yeah. I mean, it's a mountain you'd be willing to climb, though. As long as you have you know enough oxygen, the right boots. Yeah, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to pack enough water to cock yeah. that down. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I'm Come, gonna have that right boots. You're gonna have to go into your reserve canteen, the battle list. I'm gonna have to check the weather, make sure it's not raining. Yeah, I'm gonna have to check my underwear too, apparently. I might have to set up camp for the night. Yeah. Hey, listen. It's gonna take some time to cock that down. But it's a mountain I'm willing to climb. There we go. The Instagram picture at the end is worth it. You oh know what my I'm saying? God, yeah. You'll, anyway. be, you'll be glowing after, too, even more than you are now, probably. See, I don't think so. I think I'll, I'll be disgusting and wretched. <laughs> <laughs> like Wolverine. You say Wolverine? What is it, Wolverine? Wool. I thought it's Wolverine. You say Wolverine? Yeah, I say Wolverine. That's a Wolverine. I don't say Wolverine. I say Wolverine. No. Wolverine. I said, ka-sing. Ka-sing, ka-finger. I said finger. Yeah, you did say <laughs> Finger. Finger. <laughs> Yeah, but no, yeah. I mean, you uh, said that like a high pitched Japanese man. Finger. I, I am like two tenths Japanese. No one believes that from my mother's DNA ancestry. <sighs> Whatever, dude. Yeah, we should two do, tenths. We should do that. And say strange. No, two percent. No. Oh, I th- you said two tenths. No, I'm like Japanese milk, two percent. Nice. Yeah, that's dope, dude. I'm Japanese milk. Now that's a glass I'd be willing to drink. <laughs> 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 Yo, milk usually fucks with my body though, so I don't know about that. Yeah, you are pretty lactose. I'm super lactose, and my body even know like if you just write milk on a on like a glass of water, my body will be like, oh, we're shit today. Like yeah. it just knows because yeah. like almond milk isn't dairy, but it fucks me up. I haven't tried oat milk. That's the only one I'm willing to put my butthole to the test to try that out. You Have don't you like ha- almond milk? I love almond milk, That's but it doesn't agree get. with me. Oh, it doesn't agree. Like, That's regular weird. milk is literally like drinking Drano for me. Yeah. So if I have it, because I had a lot of milk back in the day. I used to be tired from, like, playing sports all day, come home and just chug out of the gallon. My mom used to beat me. Yeah. For that. I used to love drinking out of the bottle. Oh, I loved it. Also, you ever drink milk out of, like, glass? Yeah. Not those, like a cup, like no. a, like a glass, like milkman. Yeah, the, the guy would come and drop off outside of your house. What a dumb thing, by the way. Yeah. Oh, we got to order all this milk. Who orders milk oh, in bulk? Go it goes bad. The, it's a spoils. I'm leaving it on your front steps for the cats to come piss on? <laughs> the fuck? There was way more stray cats in the 80s, whatever year that was. I, I think that was more like the 50s. Yeah, I don't, I can't, I don't know anything. No one brings milk around anymore. I just, I can't believe I just said the 80s, like supermarkets didn't exist. <laughs> 80s also not that long ago, but we are coming to an end of a decade here. Whoa, I just did that pop. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we are. We are coming. We are. We're not. I mean, yeah. 2020. Yeah. Ah, so you could see clearly this year. Hopefully. That's what everyone's going to say. I guarantee. I'm calling it now. There's going to be a bunch of memes, and then I'm going to get 9,000 DMs of people being like, see, I saw it. Whatever. Blah, blah, blah. Time to see clearly. Yeah, Hasht- exactly. Hashtag 2020. 2020 vision. I can see this year. It's going to be my year. Pray in hands. Yeah. Yeah. That's what's going to happen. And anyway, that's going to happen anyway because I just said it. And all the time. People are stealing our shit on this show. Yeah, yeah. And you know putting what? it out, making memes, all this bullshit. We do get we do get swagger jacked a lot on this oh show. Oh my god, so much so swagger much. jacking and not enough molly whopping. Damn. Too, Too much swagger jacking and not enough molly whopping. That's what's happening. That no one knows what know that means whopping. if they're not from New York. Yeah, you don't know what getting molly whopped is all about. <laughs> if someone says they're gonna molly whop you, you gotta bounce. You gotta get the fuck out of there. New York slang is great. We say the dumbest shit. Makes no sense. Yeah. Molly whopped. Do you know what jaddy? Do you know what jaddy means? Jaddy? Yeah. No. It's a fat butt. A jaddy? Yeah. That sounds very Philadelphia. Yeah, I showed you had the jaddy. Never heard that. Fat butt. You got the wagon. We got the wagon wheel. Yeah. 
The wagon's great. I love wagon. I used to wagon a that lot. Fucking wagon. Like, damn yo, she got the wagon. Yeah. Not not even she has a wagon. She got the wagon. She got the wagon. They're like there's only one wagon and she has it. Yeah. She is in possession. Is it do you think it's crazy how like immediately how drawn you are, like by your eyes to just a great fucking set of cheeks? <laughs> I mean, it is it is something, but like we can't blame. That's our instinct to do that, right? Like as I, like as straight men, like it's just to be like, whoa. I don't know. Wow. Why? That's though? a party. I don't know. That's a party. I I honestly don't even know the answer to that. To, yeah. Like I don't, you know. I, I, I like why do people love titties? But I think it's only because I they hide them so much. Love titties and I love but, butts. But you know the thing is. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is though I feel like When you ever watch One of those National Geographic shows mm-hmm. And it's like This hut Or this village Where All the oh, women I thought, I thought you just like Were fucking Hiking a football I was like What the a hut? Said, hut Hut Yeah, yeah I, was like, I was like What the fuck Is he talking about No 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 you, It's like a village Right And all the women Are topless Yeah You can watch that And just be like Oh yeah This is fine Because it's like Normal to them It's not like a thing They're not being like oh. Sexy like Ooh And like showcasing Their nip And like one of those or something, you know? So when you kind of, when it's very normal, right? then it starts to lose its mystique. But what do you mean? Like normal, like it, it, it's it's part of like, wow, I want to see like what your titties look like outside of your clothes is what you're saying. That, you know, that adds to it for us. No, I feel like when mystique, you. Mystique. We've made two uh, X-Men references already. On oh, show. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. Crossing in the stank territory here. Yeah, Frank is going to get mad. He's going to get really mad. Yeah. Uh. I'm going to get a text message later. Yeah. Uh, no, but I think, no, what I'm trying to say is that when it's normalized mm-hmm. of being like, yeah, we, we don't wear shirts. We don't believe in like whatever. We don't have to hide our breasts or whatever. Then you like. Motherfucker it, said breasts. It, it loses. It's like, I'm um, like, oh my God, dude. Yo, those titties. Oh shit. Oh my God. You know, but when you, you put a shirt on them and you pull, you put some pointy nipples through yeah. that shirt you're like oh my god i can't stop looking at these nips you ever see titties and your head tingles <sighs> yeah you got a thing in the back of your head <laughs> what is that i don't know i don't know man i feel like i, th- I honestly think sometimes you i'm like felt this that today though, right yeah why is that back of the head tingle when you get a titty yeah i know i, I know exactly what you mean a little little body shake yeah quake, just like a quake into my knees i get i get shakes on my like upper back like right here and right here. <laughs> yeah, you get and the just, little. <laughs> and I have to like roll it out, otherwise I'm gonna. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, it's weird. Ooh, yeah. yeah. The best is all. Yeah, you ever you know when you're peeing, and it's like this is the greatest pee of all history. Oh yeah, you end up looking like the fucking Undertaker too. And you're, you're like, like oh. <laughs> Yeah, yo. You just shake your body like a fish out of water, and you're like, oh. And then you piss everywhere because you shook. I don't know if this is a hot take, but sometimes that feels just as good as busting a nut. I think that's like science. No, I'm not even kidding. Like, I think, I, I honestly don't know, but I think <laughs> I've heard this before that those things are sort of equal. Yeah. And sometimes it's better or like, you know, whatever. Dude, there's some. <laughs> you've, 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 you know, you've ejaculated sometimes and been like, that was all right. Oh, yeah, I, dude. I've had so many like. O- okay, Ejax. Like just relatively. N- meh, You're Ejax. like, oh man, that was for that was for my health. That wasn't even for enjoyment. Yeah, it was just yeah, whatever. But those, but those some peas are just outrageous. like when you're holding a pee really bad, and you're like, yo. And you call whoever's oh. in your apartment, and you're like, yo, can you just, like, leave the door open? Because I got to run up and pee, make sure no one's in there. And then you fly in there, and you start on. It takes a while for the pee to start coming out because it's, yeah. it's, it's been barricaded yeah, it's bar- by the rest of your body. They're holding them like, yo, don't come out yet. And then you let it go, and then they just, like, it just feels like it's, like, slowly creeping out. And then once it hits the ho- the pee hole, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's beautiful. And then you're just shaking because yeah. it feels so good. I love those. I really love those. Peeing is sick. Yeah, peeing is so cool. Peeing is, we t- peeing is overlooked and it, we take it for granted because it's fire. Yeah, pissing is awesome. Yeah, piss is fire. Piss is sick. Yeah, we don't give piss enough credit. I'm really thinking about peeing, it now. Yo, you get to experience peeing. Peeing is fire, dude. Like, you pee every day, and every time that feels good. Yeah. And you feel like, oh, you know, I feel like 10 pounds lighter. Unless or you're like, peeing fire, then you should go to the doctor. You should go to the doctor. You should get some fucking penicillin or something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, or moxicillin, or one of the cillins. Get yeah, something in Some there. kind of cillin in you. Silicone would yeah. even help somehow, yeah. I think. But, yeah, pee's dope. Love pee. 
I wanted to ask your opinion on these. What I'm holding in my hand here is the EOS chapstick. EOS? They're, yeah, they're called EOS, I think. What is it? EOS. Greek? Yeah, yeah. It's EOS. Um, they twist off like this. They're, they, they're shaped like an egg. Mm-hmm. And you put it on like this. Yeah. This is kind of a stupid design. I think they did it on purpose. To make it stupid? To make it... So, like, what is that, an egg? Oh, yeah. I also a th- talking point. And you're, th- you're always mad business-minded. But that's think about it, though, because think about... Uh, the one that I use, the cocoa butter one. Yeah. It looks like Elmer's glue. The the, yeah, the coloring is the same. Yeah. It's a white tube with orange and blue and black writing with a white background on it, whatever. Yeah. That looks exactly like Elmer's glue. And I think those are talking points of like, yo, what do you what is that? Glue? It looks like a glue stick. You know what I mean? I turned the TV on my foot by accident. Oh, it's all good. No, but I see what you're saying though, in terms of that. But I feel like this isn't practical to carry around in your pocket. I carry around a man purse. But I'm just saying, like, I can't carry this around. My pocket's going to look like I, I'm walking around with rocks in my pocket. Yeah, or like a big bruise or a, something. Yeah, yeah. Or what con- is that? Like a, a knot. Co- a contouge. A contouge. Yeah, a b- exactly. A big contouge. A big old contouge. Remember when you would get big contouges? I had a bad one on my shin one time. Oh, isn't it gross? But you rub it constantly. You're like, whoa, this is my body. Yeah, I like it. I kind of like them. I got a crazy one. I used to love getting bruises. Dude, I love getting... like. I just started boxing. Yeah. I can't wait to get a black eye. That's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to get sent to the mat, but I, if no. I get a black eye, would love that. Dude, black eyes are fucking hot. Fire, dude. Do you know how many selfies oh. are flying out of this guy if I get a black eye? What happened? What ha- who, who? You look so... Was there a fight? Yeah. You're so rugged and tough. A fucking 19-year-old named Jordy punched me in my eye. Yeah. And... Yeah, Yeah, for some reason I used to love having like bruises and cuts as a kid because I thought it made you cool. Yeah, it did. You know what I mean? Chicks dig scars. Shane Falco. Shane Falco, man. Shane Falco. Glory lies forever. (laughs) Yeah, I did. I'm saying, like, I used to love bruises and (laughs) and contusions. I didn't really like bruises. There was one time I had a football game and I got pushed out of bounds mm. and I had to jump over like because there was a bunch of like bags and shit. So I jumped over that. And when I jumped oh, oh no, 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 that's not what happened. I'm sorry. I got pushed out of bounds on like a kickoff. So I was running fast. Yeah. And I got pushed and there was a garbage can. So I went to go jump over it, but my shin caught it and it was a metal one. Ugh. And I just had this thing in my shin. And it was like it didn't bleed, but it looked like white. It, like, was, it was just hard, weird. hard as shit, too, right? I mean, it took a while to get there. Like it looked like it was dented in. Oh yeah, but it wasn't bleeding. Right. But it was like purple around it, yeah. and then it got bigger like the next day. I forgot. But it was, like weird. I forgot about like shin dents. Yeah, shin dents. <laughs> yeah, dude. Those were kind of scary. It's like, why is my leg just dented now? Yeah, like I'm pretty sure I should have an injury, but I feel fine. It's not bleeding. What's happening? You know, I can see my bone. You know what I never had though, too? Shin splints. Oh, I've had those. What does that feel like? It feels it's it feels like, like a pulled distance. muscle. That's what it feels like. It feels like a like a pulled yeah. That's the only way I can describe it. Like it feels like someone, but it feels like worse than a pulled muscle in my opinion. Like is it along your shin bone? Like yes, from the top? it's like it's like this. It's like it. I literally I get them. Yeah, get like, those feet up here. From here, like right there. Um. I never really ran long distances. I only did like. Well, I didn't get them from shit. long distances. I think I just got them because if you're, if you're like, I don't know, if you don't run a lot and then you start running, yeah, your your body needs to get used to that and your muscles need to get used to that, and I think you just need to work through it. That's at least my theory. I don't I don't really know the science right. behind it, but I was like <laughs> I I know that when you work out and you get sore. You have to continue working out. You can't not right. work out because you're sore. Right. You know, you have to. The tearing of the micro. Yeah, the I micro mean, fibers. obviously, rest is important in the whole like muscle growth, whatever, blah, blah, blah. But I'm saying, like, the next time you go work out, you're going to be sore. Yeah. You have to keep working out. And then eventually you get less and less sore. Yeah, because I would always see people with, like those weird little rolly things, like rolling their bodies up. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Those aren't for shin splints, though. Those are just for rolling out your muscles. That just gets the blood flowing in them better. And, like, you know, there's less of a lactic acid buildup. Why do, I, why do I know that? Eat a banana. Oh, no, no. I don't know. Right? I don't know anything. I, I only know what I think I know. You don't remember how, like, moms would bring, like, oranges? Dude, I, for, for football. Yeah, I, yeah. I, football like, I brought the oranges. 
at our I'm like thanks mom in high school at halftime our coach would pass around a bag of oranges and everyone would eat an orange because it was like an immediate boost of b12 or whatever i don't know vitamin c that's it i don't know the difference citrus citrus yeah citry yeah um i think i think if you stick with boxing for a long time mm-hmm. you'll probably get as cut as ever I would think so, cause that that was like the a really fucking that was awesome. Cause like the was thing it is, a humbling experience, dude? No, nah, it wasn't like humbling, because like I'm, endurance wise, not cause like you got punched in the face. No, because I think it's just like anything else. Like at my core, I'm an athlete, so it's like you know what it takes. Yeah, like you're like yeah, it's hard work. It's like you know this is part of it, blah blah right. blah. You know, and I don't really get discouraged. Like yes, I probably like my footwork is trash, because yeah. like moving around a boxing ring is like tough. Yeah, <laughs> not that I know anything about it, but like moving it around is like tough because you can't just like cross your legs or anything. You have to keep a certain distance. Yeah, yeah. And your weight and distribute and like that all comes from practice. So like being bad at it at first is not discouraging. I'm like I'm I'm if anything want more criticism from people yeah. who know what they're talking about. So I kept asking that kid like yo. Like, can you just watch me this round and, like, tell me what I'm doing wrong? Because I want to be good at it. Yeah. I don't want to fight anybody, though. Well, the, no, no, but it'll make the workouts better if you're doing it No, right. yeah, exactly. Like, because another thing is if you're not throwing, like, the only punch that I was throwing that they said I wasn't doing, like, correctly was a left hook. Yeah. Because you ha- it, it's a very tight motion. It's here. It's like, yeah, it's and it's, like, up. Yeah. You know? And, like, I'm throwing it, like, I'm in fucking Fight Night, the video game. Like, fuck yeah. it. You know what I'm saying? Like, loading it up. Um, but, like, that was the only one. And But, like, coming off of, like, a, a straight cross to a, a hook, that's a lot of movement yeah. in your body. And, like, you're shifting your weight. And that was, like, really hard for me. Like, I kept, like, slipping up. And I was, like, getting fucking mad because I'm, like, how? What? I was what trying to, like, to get yeah. it. Yeah. Because it's, like, it's not uh, – you're telling your I'm brain. You're telling your brain one thing, and your body's just doing the other. Well, I grew up playing like football and basketball, where it's like you know you're crossing your legs and you're like juking and shit. So yeah, it's yeah. it's a different movement. So I'm not used to like this kind of staying station, not stationary, but you know what I mean. Would you ever spar a girl? Yeah, why not? Just rock her shit, right? I wouldn't. No, you don't rock anybody <laughs> in sparring. But yeah, I would spar a girl. She'd probably whoop my ass right now. I can't do shit. Were there any girls in there? Yeah. Good. I want you to fight one next time. Just let her fucking smoke. There you. was no girls in rings. There was ones like on the bags or whatever. But yeah. I'm convinced everyone there could kick the fucking shit out of me right now. So in due time. Yeah. In due time. I have a good like jab. Caught this kid with a jab. Snapped him. Snapped him back a little bit. Stiff old jab too. See now you can start beating people in the office now. No. Yeah. Probably. Cracking the whip a little bit. Trying to intimidate us. Come in with your rap S- still snap, on. Snap. <laughs> My rap still on. What's up with that video? Are we done with that or what's going on? Are you gonna get more and more? Just wrapping up. As this company grows and grows, are you gonna get more and more serious? Serious Joe. Well, I don't think so. You don't think so? I don't think so because I'll be able to not. Because I, hopefully, I could hire people that are smarter, smarter than me, and they yeah. could do serious stuff, and I could still be an asshole. Good. I don't want to be. Serious Joe. No. CEO Joe. <laughs> Serious Joe. It sounds like a Harry Potter. Like You're going to have so many nicknames. I think I give you a new nickname every day. Serious show, CEO Joe. Boxer Joe. Boxer Joe. <laughs> There's so many. You know what I mean? This is how it is. Joe Frazier. Um, but <coughs> yeah, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. See, but it's, it's, a lot, it's tough it's, though because they have like a, it's like three minute rounds. Um, Like there's a bell that goes off in the place. It's like three minute rounds. It's the first bell is the start of the round. The next bell is like. 30 seconds left in the round, and then the last bell is like, okay, round over. And then you get a minute until the next bell. Ooh, not enough time. Yeah. Not so, enough time for me. I need at least 35 minutes. Luckily, I've been uh, doing a lot of cardio. So I had some win, but I was not in boxing shape by yeah. any means. Yeah. Um, so we were there for probably an hour and a half or hour 45 minutes. And I think I only took off like two or three rounds, Ugh. and I was dead. Yeah, that sounds awful. Yeah, before I left, I tried to do two rounds in a row of just like sparring. We couldn't. It's mouth open. Do you have a mouthpiece in? No. Oh. And let's not tell anyone who works there. Though. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll, uh, we'll fix that in post for sure. But uh, yeah, I have to. I have to get one because they have rules. Obviously, you you can't go in there without the guard that goes around your waist. Guard that cock. You gotta guard your cock, and you have to wear the heads the headpiece, and you have to wear a mouth guard. Guard your head cock. Yeah. Yeah. Your head cock. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's good that you picked up a physical hobby around the holidays because the thing is, it's all about eating. 
Yeah. It's I, all about eating and getting fat right now. I'm trying to get ahead of it and not being like, yeah. all right, I'm going to start January 1. Like, yeah. I would rather just, you know, I'll right, take right. December to fucking. <laughs> and, yo, know, honestly, I like, I at max, I'm going to do it, like, three days a week unless I really start, like, whatever. Just becoming a fucking psycho. Yeah, like, if I get really good and I'm like, oh, wait a minute. Yeah, just don't get, like, CTE or anything coming here and, like. No, dude, I have no. Fire interest. everybody in the I same have day no interest. <laughs> I have no interest in coming in, in like. Getting rocked by people. No, you, know dude, I mean? you don't need to do that. Protect no, that I mean, nose. It's a money Strictly maker. for a workout, and it's fun to like spar yeah. and like hit each other. Like we were hitting each other yesterday, but we weren't fucking teeing off. Yeah. And also, if you hit someone like clean, then we like stop for a second. Yeah, you know, like in the head. Like you hit them in the stomach, whatever. Tee off on them. But if you like rock them in the face, mm. then we'll be like, you will take a second and be like, you know, sorry, gather yourself, D- dap it up a little bit. Yeah, just like gather yourself because I'm not gonna. You know, because if you hit someone in the head and they're a little off balance and you continue to hit them, yeah. they're going to go down. Not gonna you're go not for trying the... to put anyone on the mat or anything. Yeah. So, you know, I'm, a, I'm a cool with getting punched in the face, but like not. Just when you couldn't get any hotter. <laughs> no. But uh, yeah, man, I don't know. It's, it, I feel you should like come one time. I'll come one time, but I'm taking my fucking damn time. Yeah, I'll t- tell you that. I'll tell you what, you better suck that inhaler. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, but I, I I know how to throw my shit. I threw it when I was a kid, when I could actually move around. I believe you. But um, yeah, I would love to come in there. Just not around the holidays, dude. It's too much. I haven't even started fucking shopping yet. I haven't done oh. any of that shit. Yeah, I haven't no. done any fucking. I haven't bought one fucking Christmas gift. I, I know a lot of people are like this, but I haven't even thought about them. That's yet. the thing. I was gonna say I haven't even thought about what I'm gonna get anybody. I, it's bad, and it's December third. Th- third right now yeah a lot of walgreens gifts coming out coming out the box yeah yeah yeah. a lot of pickup on the way to the party gifts that's what's gonna happen (laughs) target the day before like what can i get the store has everything i think money is always a good gift people like money i never give money never i've never done that well you don't really have a lot of kids in your family if any so like i have like nieces and nephews so i just throw them money and tell them to get the fuck well our family has never done that like no one gives money at all no no i don't get money on my birthday i don't get money on any holiday it's never been like that i mean when you're a baby and you write like my cousins uh my cousin just had a birthday party for his one-year-old i'm about to say a baby can write tell me more my (laughs) (laughs) about this writing baby my cousin's uh, this writing (laughs) baby my cousin's uh one-year-old like for their birthday will write checks and they'll put it in like their account for like college or something you know okay yeah for fucking rent yeah yeah uh but other than that once you get to a certain age it's like you get gifts you don't get any money yeah i think i stopped getting money around 22 21 dude i stopped getting money when i was like fucking seven now it's like gift cards like i get gift cards for stuff I hate those too. Yeah, like you know, it's it's. Unless there was a gift card that you can continue to add to, Ooh, that's a good invention. I think there are those though. I think it's like every gift card ever. No, no, no. What I'm saying, like, you have a gift card, right? But then if you get a different gift card, because like I hate this, like, you have fifty dollars to Barnes and Nobles. Like, I have to go here now. Oh, to transfer it, you're saying? Yeah, just be like everything could just add onto this one card. And it's yeah. like, oh, I got three hundred fifty dollars over the. Uh, the holiday season. I want to transfer on this one card. Right, transfer it's like a Mastercard gift card. Yeah, or if it is Barnes and Nobles, you could just get one gift card where it all goes on there, so you don't have to carry around fifty fucking cards. What kind of a fucking nerd would you have to be too to get a three hundred fifty dollar gift card to Barnes and Noble? You fucking loser. <laughs> Go outside. I'm sure, Greg would love that. Oh yeah, he would. He would love. He loves books. Books are great. But go read it outside. I met up with Greg uh, at a coffee shop. In Dumbo? Yeah, on a Sunday at like 7 in the morning. What is wrong with you? <laughs> I was up and I was like, and I, and I was like, yo, I wanted to go do something for work, but none of the stores were open yet. Yeah. And I was like already hyped off the fact that he was like, yeah, sure, I'll go with you. And I was like, all right, cool. Like, I'm coming. And then we realized that the stores are closed and they're not open yet. So I was like, yeah. I was like, but I still want to hang out. So can I just come anyway? He's like, yeah, I'm at a coffee shop. Coffee shop's awesome. It's a big ass place, like way too big for what it is. But is it like a work? Like everyone goes there and works. That's the thing. There wasn't a lot of people. See, there. I hate, I hate when people do that though. When we went to that bagel place, every table had someone with a laptop. Get out of there! No Wi-Fi. Go work somewhere else. No personal Wi-Fi. You're an adult in a bagel shop at like eleven o'clock during the week. Go use your own computer. I get. There were no seats in there. Yeah, there wasn't. But I and it wasn't even the. I don't even think it was the morning when we went. Like it was. It was like noon-ish. 
And yeah. it's like, this is a little late. It was post coffee. That's an office is what it is. That's a fucking coffee shops are a we work now. That's usually what they are. They're but running like, businesses out of there. Do they have like any rules and regulations? Like, dude, get the fuck out of here. You have to buy one fucking small coffee. You can stay there for nine hours. Yeah. If I was homeless, I'd just do that. But you'd need a laptop there, homeless guy. Yeah, I figured it out. I'll finagle my way to get one. Yeah, I'd not just make one out of cardboard. You get a lot of work done on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I get... Doing my resume. If I was a coffee person, right? Which I, I, I think I might try to start doing that. Because now I'm a wine person. I Uh-oh. never was. Oh, Coffee Joe. It's all <laughs> happening. Coffee Joe. I don't like caffeine, though. So do decaf. Well, I don't like coffee that, like, if I'm going to do coffee. But that's the thing. Like, no, the taste of coffee is awesome. I and, can, you, and you didn't get me a decaf coffee today, by the way. I totally forgot, to be honest with you. Right till now. I just, I'm it's sorry. so far. I apologize it's deeply. All right. It's all right. Um, but I don't think I'll ever become one of those people that has a cup of coffee every single morning. I don't even know if I'll like coffee moving forward. Let's just get okay. that out of the way. But, so I liked this coffee shop so much that I met Greg at, because they have, like, these... Cool, t- like it's fucking Dumbo, Brooklyn. So everything's like hipster and cool. Yeah. Like blah, blah, blah. But it's a big, it looks like a fucking warehouse. It's huge. They make their coffee out of like rustic fucking machines, <laughs> yeah. like have like fucking wear and tear on them. Yeah. Like they're all stained. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking, yeah. <laughs> stained copper. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> everything's copper in there. Yeah. And, but they have like these couches and like whatever. There's a globe on the table. I haven't seen one of those in years. Uh, what's that? Like the fucking the glo- what's that I called? I know what a globe is. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Why did I? <laughs> it's a fucking globe, bro. <laughs> you know, one of those things. I like how you spun it too. <laughs> like, yeah, I went like this. I think you had. You weren't even sure what it was called. What's that called? The thing you spin. Sphere. <laughs> sphere. I was gonna go sphere. The world sphere. That thing. I know what a club is. You remember being a kid and, and spinning it and just being like, here, I'm right here. Spin. Yeah. Oh, I'm right here. I'm going to go on vacation here one day. Yeah. And then all the kids would put their finger on Nigeria and be like, oh. Yeah, it's true. It says. Yeah, it says a bad word. It says, say it. You say the country. I'm not saying it. And I'm like, it's Nigeria, you fucking idiots. <laughs> There was always some dumb idiot like that. Yeah, they're that. like, oh my god, I dare you to say that country. Uh, like, okay, dude. Nigeria? Yeah, and they're like, oh. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, I remember spinning globes. I do remember globes. Yeah, dude, I would spin a globe and just... And then you just put your finger on it, and it slowly, like, slows it down. Yeah. And you're like, ah! Oh. I'm in the ocean. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Pacific. Um, I have a problem where I say specific instead of Pacific. I'll say the specific ocean all the time. Really? Yeah. That's very dumb. I, yeah. That's a dumb mouth you have. Yeah. I'm not, what, about, what, about, what about when you want to say specific? Do you say Pacific? No, I say specific. But like, I think I say specific more than I say Pacific. How do you so say frustrated? Frustrated. Okay, because I know people say frustrated. Frustrated? Frustrated. What are you, a baby? I, I don't know what that is. You know what's weird too? Like Missing a letter. Like even like how I think I said Wolverine, Wolverine. I think I'm right though, because of how it's spelled. Yeah, it's Wolverine, because wolves. Wolf, wolf, Wolverine, Wolverine. Wolves. You don't say wolves. Wolves. Oh shit! Spe- speaking of wolves, by the way, did you see the thing about that eighteen thousand year old dog they found? First of all, disgusting. Yeah, I, uh, yeah. <laughs> Listen, I'm, I'm just saying so, I'm going to look at it aesthetically disgusting, disgusting animal. Just so people know, there's a story going like viral on Twitter right now. They found this thing that was in like permafrost. It's like a dog or wolf or whatever. Um, it's like this big. It's like a baby and it's frozen. And they said it's 18,000 years old. I don't know how you do that, how you figure that out. I mean, though. there's some computers involved in that. I think. I'm just saying. <laughs> I, 18,000 years old. Well, they t- that thing they, looked like it was born three months ago. Well, they did like a like a biopsy or some shit, and they like found out how old it was or something. But uh, see, uh, you can cut open a tree and count the rings. So who knows how accurate it is? You know what I mean? Yeah, that's true. That's true. So I, I don't know. What a dumb thing that is, too. Count it. How old is this tree? Here's the, how about this? Gives a fuck. Water it. You think I give a shit how old this tree is? As you long as I'm, it gives me oxygen, I don't care. Yeah, what is this? What are we doing? But yeah, also the word permafrost is like kind of fire. Yeah, dude. 
That sounds like a dope like dessert. Yeah, it's gonna be like my rap name. Permafrost. Yeah, just be like, yo, what permanently else? frost. Yeah, so yo, it's good. It's permafrost. You're listening to Hot 97. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna flex. Um, but no, so they have like this little dog thing, and they said it's eighteen thousand years old, and like it's like this big story, and the guy's like holding it, and it's like a, the size of a loaf of bread, and it literally is frozen, so yeah. he could just literally like do this with it if he wanted to, and you could see it, and like blah blah blah, and like I think everyone's ignoring the fact that this is a dead dog that is frozen. This is a gross and a sad. Yeah. It's, so why yeah. are we like? I just sound like Chris D'Elia just now. Yeah, he did. <laughs> but, like, it's like, wh- why are we just going to ignore the fact that this is a dead dog? And it's disgusting and gross. It's like, oh, look. Imagine there's, like, oh, found Walt Disney's head. Yeah. You know? I, would, I, I mean, think that, that, that was a myth. That would be cooler, though. I would love to see Walt Disney's it's, head. That yeah. anti-Semite. <laughs> <laughs> Anti-Semite Walt Disney. I sprayed his house so many times. You know what's crazy? I actually Googled the whole anti-Semite thing about yeah. Walt Disney because I got interested. I was like, you know, I'm kind of, you know, I love hearing about, you yeah. know, people who, who are seemingly, like, amazing do yeah. some, like, weird shit. Yeah, not the fans. Apparently, the... that's a myth. No, nah, he was not the fan of the Jew. It's a Jew. It's a Jew? It's a Jew. I don't. And neither is Amazon, apparently, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm so glad you brought this yeah. up. I, I mean, I so love talking about 18,000-year-old dead, frozen dogs, but all I really wanted to get across was, one, disgusting. Gross. 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 Get rid of it. Put it back in the ground. Yeah. Or I don't just, like, s- warm it up and see if it comes alive. I don't know if that's how I think things work. I would just spray it with a hair dryer for a while until it moved. I mean, I think with permafrost, you're going to need more than a hair dryer. You nah, might we'll need a glue gun or something. Yeah, we'll figure it out. <laughs> what was it called? I don't even know. A, a, a hot gun? A hot, a glue. Glue guns were the worst because those things would burn the <laughs> shit out of you. Remember? <laughs> Fuck! Glue gun. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The thing would just get super duper hot. Uh, but yeah, a permafrost dog, like, if it can't come back to life, let's just put it back in the ground. Let, yeah. it, let it just be dead for the rest of time. I understand that it's preserved really well. What is humans' obsession with old shit? Yeah, just let it go. Oh my God, this is 18,000 years old. Cool. Who can fu- who- who cares? Yeah. Now, if it was like a fucking human, like a fully permafrosted human, or like a Dracula. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or like if a, you yeah. found Bigfoot or Dracula or Wolverine frozen, put that on Twitter. Yeah. But a dog? Yeah, there was dogs that existed. We know that. Yeah. Eighteen thousand years old. It was very sad. It died in in a blizzard. Maybe the ice age. I don't know what year that was. No <laughs> I, one does. I don't think anybody does. Exactly. Well, we woolly mammoths and shit. They're trying to bring those back. Bring them back. Yeah. What, they, put them in zoos. Yes. A woolly. Yes. They're trying to bring woolies back to the top, dogs. That would actually be kind of dope because I'd love to ride one, but they're a little dangerous. I feel. How yeah. do you bring something back from the dead? Like you clone it with whatever its closest genome. Uh, so an elephant. You would mix an elephant and a woolly mammoth's DNA from like their whatever their, and you just do that for fifty years, and eventually, I guess potentially that's the idea of what they that I remember when I was reading about it. That's how they were saying they would try to crossbreed with an elephant somehow, but and make some kind of not an actual woolly mammoth, but like a knockoff, like a Canal Street woolly mammoth. Yeah, 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 yeah. Some like yeah. Bootleg shit. Some bootleg shit. But yeah, the Amazon uh, gifts go go. Ahead Yo, oh my god, that. Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> Amazon. Speaking under, of Jews. Speaking of Jews, yeah. Uh, Amazon's under a lot of fire right now. Oh, big time fire. Big time fire. Uh, because they were selling, not they, someone. Uh, I don't know how can, it works. If you can buy it on there. I mean, it's got the. It's got to have the Amazon tape on the box. All I'm saying is it got through the necessary channels. Yeah. I don't know how you put stuff on Amazon, but someone was selling Auschwitz Christmas ornaments, okay? Now, for those who don't know, Auschwitz, okay? That's not a Russian sausage, all right? Or a German sausage. Auschwitz is the most famous camp. I just said famous. Famous. It's the most most famous, like, concentration camp. camp It might have been the biggest one. I'm not, like, too sure on that, but it was a concentration camp where obviously during the Holocaust they killed a bunch of Jewish people yes. and they're selling ornaments of 
Auschwitz. So it's basically like a snowflake, and it has a picture of like. Basic- oh, there was a couple. Yeah, there, there was a couple. So like the one I saw was like basically like the entrance to Auschwitz, and then I was just like, "This is on a fucking snowflake." Yes. And I really wanted to. I know they pulled it since, but uh, yeah, you got a picture there. Yeah, that's not very welcoming. Also, that's terrifying. This isn't even like the Holocaust and Christmas don't go hand in hand. Not only that, but if this wasn't the Jewish, if this wasn't Auschwitz, right? This sucks. Yeah, that, who's buying this? It looks like Chernobyl. It's not. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want any part of that. But the thing is, is like, you know, it's just weird that somebody, you know, whoever made that, would be like, I think it's a good idea. I will sell it. And they made bottle openers. <laughs> You could drink beer. Open your beer with Auschwitz. <laughs> Do that. Auschwitz kind of does sound like a beer, though. Wasn't there Schlitz? I don't know. All the German stuff ends yeah, with yeah. Schlitz. And but, then they had this one that's like a bell or something. They got... Wait, we got... What? What's the matter? You don't like it? What? It's nice. I thought it was nice. I was going to hang on my Stuttgenheimer. Dude, I don't see what's the biggest problems. Yeah, I'll be like, uh, I might want to run it's that a historical, one. Historical, it's a historical ground. It's like, yo, dude, that's like selling fucking Christmas ornaments of the towers going down, dude. Oh, what I think, are you thinking? Did I say that on Nashville? What you said to that German girl? I don't know, but you could say it. Okay, it was all right. So I don't know if I said this on the Nashville episode, but we were at uh, on that rooftop, right? And there was some German girl there, mm-hmm. and uh, she, she was, was like, like, ger- like actually German. German. She was like, "I'm from Germany." Yeah, she was German as shit. And I was like, "Oh, cool, you're from Germany." And then she was like, "Yeah," and I was like, "Joe, she's from Germany." And Joe goes, "Like Hitler?" <laughs> oh. And she goes, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." I felt when you told me that the next day, I felt so bad. Yeah, that's such a stupid douchebag thing to say. Yeah. and I wasn't even trying to be funny. No, you were just fucking. Fucked up. Yeah, dude, I was clawed. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, yeah. You were clawed. I up. was off the Jack and Coke and the claws. So yeah. You already know that's a bad combo. Yeah. Um. Listen. Uh. Let's keep the Holocaust and Christmas away from each other. All right. We we already have a disagreement there. Yeah. You know, with uh, with faith. You yeah. know. Let's just you know. Maybe don't sell ornaments with a concentration yeah. camp on it. Would you? Ever... I thought that went without saying. It was assumed. Would you ever go to the Holocaust Museum? I heard it's like... I think I've been there. It's so fucked. I've been there. I've been there, actually. I went there on a school trip. You went, like, through that hallway? What? There's, like, a like a tunnel that you go through, and, like... I don't you, really remember. It's, like... It was appa- a while ago. Yeah, apparently you go through it. I forgot where it is, but you go through it, and it's, like, a tunnel, and, like, you walk in there, like, yeah, and then you just come out, like... Whoa! Oh, yeah, because... Yes, I have been there, because... It's fucking terrible. On the wall, they have, like, pictures of people, and they have had these stories or whatever, oh. and it's, like, completely fucked, yeah. I, I've been there... I I want to say I was in... I was young, I feel yeah. like. Like, I might have been in, like, fifth grade or something. Hey, guys, come in this tunnel. <laughs> hey, you know fifth graders. This kid was in fifth grade. Yeah. It's like, Jesus, Jesus. dude. Go, still- go home and watch the boy in the striped pajamas. <laughs> It's a lovely, it's a lovely movie about two boys your age. Yo, man, I'm telling you, dude. Whoever at Amazon didn't see that, I don't know how you let that one slide. Yeah, Jeffrey's probably bugging out. Yeah, right Bezos now. is bugging. Also, I will say this: the the uh, the ornaments had a one star rating. Uh, who gave it one? <laughs> who gave it a one star? Who bought it and was like? You know, the picture's just not clear enough on this ornament, and it already fell off of my tree. One star. Yeah, it d- doesn't hold on to the branch well. Got rid of it after two days. The fuck? Who's starring this thing? <laughs> like, also, super offensive. The bottle opener only works on Bud Lights, but you're going to have a problem on Coors Lights. <laughs> One star. Oh, man. Like, I always think about, like, if I could live in, like, another decade... Like, yeah, <laughs> where is this going? No, no, no. Like, cause like, um, I watched like the Irishman or whatever. Right. And he's in like world war two or whatever. Yeah. And I was like, yo, I was like, I don't think I w- would like mentally. I don't think I'm tough enough to be one of those people that like lived in the forties. Hold on. Let's, let's hold on to that. Cause that's a, a funny thought. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to get to these sponsors. Sponsor time. Sponsor time. Sponsor Ow. time. Sponsor time on the basement yard. 
Keep it going. It's sponsor time. We got ads to keep the lights on for my dad, Joe. See yo, Joe, read the ads, bitch. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right. Christmas time. Christmas time. So, we got promo codes and stuff for you to buy for people. Here we go. We no. have Butcher Box, which is a new sponsor of the podcast. Butcher when Box. It, when it comes to meat, quality matters, but there's more to it than just texture and taste. Okay. And these people know what they're talking about when it comes to the meat. Mm. Uh, every month, Butcher Box ships a curated selection of high quality meat right to your home. Uh, all the meat is free of antibiotics and added hormones. Each box has 9 to 11 pounds of meat, enough for 24 individual meals. Mm. Okay, so this is feeding the hell out of you, yeah. bud. Okay. Um, and I've, we, I've gotten the Butcher Box. You know what I'm saying? You open it up. We got carefully packaged whatever in there. You know what I'm saying? Bacon. Mm. The bacon was outrageous outrageous um you can customize your box or go with one of theirs uh either way you get exactly what you want it's a no-brainer um yeah like i said it's shipped right to your door um they have 100 they have options like 100 percent grass-fed and finished beef free range uh organic chicken heritage pork don't even know what that is uh wild caught alaskan salmon dude not a big salmon guy but if i had to eat one wild alaskan um but yeah, it's the most affordable and convenient way to get healthy, humanely raised meat. Uh, with Butcher Box, you get the highest quality meat uh, around for just six dollars a meal. Um, mm. So right now, you can get two pounds of ground beef and two packs of bacon. Oh, absolutely free! I'm using my own code. Plus twenty dollars off your first box. Just go to butcherbox.com/basement or use the promo code basement at checkout. Again, that is butcherbox.com/basement. I use the promo code basement at checkout. Free bake. Free bacon, two pounds of ground beef, <clears throat> and twenty dollars off your order. Come on now, come on, man, get that, get that butcher box. Free I like bacon. it too because for the whole month, I didn't even have to worry about like, oh man, what am I gonna eat tonight or what am I gonna blah blah blah. Like you have all the stuff you yep. need. It's just, it's just nice. Yes, 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 it's it just is. nice. Yang Cheng. <laughs> <laughs> so weird how close to Cardi B you sounded like just now. Yang Cheng. Yeah, I know. Yang that's Yang. crazy. It's the New York in us. Um, next we have Stitch Fix. Okay. Stitch Fix is an online personal styling service that delivers your favorite clothing, shoes, and accessories. 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 Yeah, yeah that's accessories. <laughs> and hot dog people. <laughs> uh, directly to you. Stitch Fix has the brands you know and love, plus exclusive styles you won't find elsewhere. After completing your style profile, uh, your expert. Personal stylists will send a handpicked box of items based on your style and preferences. So basically, you go on, you answer some questions like, I like stripes, or I like these patterns, or I like, you know, my clothes a little baggier, a little tighter, slim fit stuff. So you answer all these questions, and they're like, okay, this is this person's kind of style. They pick out items for you, and then they ship them to you, okay? Um, everyone can look their best. They have solutions for women, men, kids, all over the U.S., and now the U.K. Um, with no prescription required, please... Um, pick between automatic shipments or only getting new pieces on demand. Uh, shipping, exchanges, and returns are always free. And the $20 styling fee is automatically applied towards anything you keep from your box. Um, yeah. So get started with Stitch Fix today at stitchfix.com slash basement and get an extra 25% off when you keep everything in your box. That is stitchfix.com slash basement. And once again, stitchfix.com slash basement, folks. Um, also, for our final sponsor, we do have Away. Thoughtful luggage for, for, for modern travel. Dude, that was a great voice, man. You like that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You're going to like the way you look. You're going to like the way you look, I guarantee it. So I, I, I went on a <laughs> bunch of uh, fl uh, trips like this, these past couple of months, and I can tell you right now, tons of people have these. And they're great. Oh, they're awesome. Yeah. Um, one of the girls I was traveling with had it. Uh, and I'm like, what is that? And she's like, it's in a way. I was like, yeah. The sponsor on the podcast. Love it. Love away. Um, sleek design. I don't even know if that's on here, but I know that's one of the things that people say about it. But there's, um, they have like a bunch of different suitcases. One is the carry-on. It's a lightweight and durable shell that's made to last for a lifetime of travel. 100-day um, trial lets you try any away product on the road. Um, they have, there's wheels on it, TSA approved combination locks, 
Keep your belongings safe. That's actually huge because yes. a lot of people get their stuff as stolen. Yeesh. Uh, <laughs> yeesh. Uh, <laughs> Um, there's the bigger carry on. They have like a bunch of sizes of, of luggage, but um, all of it is is really uh, really cool and it's and it's affordable as well. And they got the luggage that comes with the charge port in there too. The yes. battery, that thing is awesome. I used that on the plane. It was sick. Yeah. Oh, you were charging your phone from your yeah, man. When I flew down to Nashville, I was by myself. I used that away case, dog. There you go. Um, and the minimal design just looks fly. And I I want to get the navy one. Ooh, I have it. You know what? That's, when they That's what I'm going to tell my mom I want for Christmas. Great. I'm like, Ma, take this call. Buy me a new luggage. Yeah. Um, but the Navy one's fire. Um, so go check them out. Uh, for $20 off a suitcase, visit awaytravel.com slash basement and use the promo code basement during checkout. Okay? You get $20 off of that. Uh, again, that is awaytravel.com slash basement and use the promo code basement. Okay? There you go, folks. You know what Young thing, <laughs> young thing. Oh, but yeah, man, I'd be afraid to live in the forties. One, cause I'm kind of brown, but you know, it's, you're Italian. I'm, I'm Puerto Rican, but I'm no for, one's got to know that. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I don't think my parents would uh, have ever met really in the forties. They did meet in the forties. <laughs> they were born in the fifties, probably. Yeah, my dad was born in fifty three. My mom was born in fifty six. Damn, you're just airing them out right now with their age? Yeah, it's all right. I mean, if you, come on. Your children are all 30. Someone's going to put together. Unless you guys are just smashing at 14. People do it. Yeah, my brother had a kid at 16. More airing out. Yeah, <laughs> this, is, this is the truth. No, I'm joking. We yeah. talked about it before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'd be afraid. I don't know. Like, What happened in the 40s? I don't even know. Uh, World War Two. Was that it? Yeah. Mm. I think it started in the late 30s and ended in the early 40s. Not caught up for a draft. I remember for a long time. I would time, be the worst fucking soldier in the history of the world. I think that I could turn it on. Yeah. If I, if I wasn't like forced to go. But like, like here's, here's the difference. Like, could you? Yeah, I think I could. I'm not even kidding. I think I could. But like, here's what I mean. Like if people, cause like something like Pearl Harbor, right? Where it's like, they came here and killed all your friends. I'm not laughing at Pearl Harbor, but no. But I'm saying you said it like my friends died there. No, 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 no. No, but I'm saying imagine like you have God a damn friend, right they did. Imagine you have a friend yeah. who is like stationed in in Hawaii. It was right. Yeah. Yeah. It's so, Pearl Harbor. Yeah. <laughs> so imagine. So imagine you have friends that are stationed there and are like whatever, blah blah blah, and people came from a different country and killed your friends. Yeah. You'd feel more inclined to be like, I need to do something about this because now it's not happening like over there. It's like, right. it's happening here. Yeah. It, it just feels different, you know? Domestic attack. Yeah. I feel like if people that I knew started dying because there was like stuff going on that I'd feel more inclined to whatever, but I will, you know, there is a caveat. I don't to know. This. That kind of sounds like a movie though. It's like your friend dies and you're like, I have to go. Like you become like Rambo. <laughs> no, <laughs> I, I must, I must avenge him. That's not what I mean. But I, I just feel like, it's the Dude. same. It's the same thing like this. Like I could never kill somebody. Like I would never. Ah. I would no, no, no. But I'm saying like I would never just kill somebody. But you if would someone never just kill someone, yeah. But if someone killed someone that I knew, I could kill them. No. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no. But yeah. I'm, sure. Whatever you say, man. If I don't fucking if, kill if I shot your family and killed them, you wouldn't kill me. Yeah, I'd kill you. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So it's like, but you wouldn't kill someone for no reason. But if you were provoked in like. This is directly affecting me. And, like, yeah. yeah, that's obviously a selfish way to think. And, like, God bless all the soldiers that just do it because they're yeah. like, this is the right thing to uh, do. Tougher, like, tougher men than I. I'll tell I you am that. a complete pussy compared to these people. It's Dude, I would get anywhere to any battle zone and just hear pew and be like, yo, guys, I'm, I'm done. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'd be I'm like, out. I can't see. I'd just be stalling, like, yo, I got to go to the bathroom real quick. All the, I, would, <laughs> I would take so many bathroom breaks if I was in the fucking military. Yeah. They would call me Danny Shits. Or I would just be, like, faking ankle sprains or something oh yeah dude it's like yo my ham just blew out i can't like there's no way my hamstrings just... have you on opl have you guys ever talked to like an army ranger or something like someone that's been in the shit no we haven't well get after it yeah get we somebody could... that's been in the suck yeah i think they call it the suck yeah i mean yeah like i said like because you were obsessed with like army ranger training videos for a little while i still am dude yeah, you just be like, yo watch this watch this and it was just like 
11 men left in the ocean for like four days. It was Navy I, SEALs training. I yeah. was like, dude, who does this? I love watching stuff like that because I, I am super, like my dad is a, is a fireman. So I feel like I have a kind of close connection to people like that, that are. It's like people in uniform kind of. Well, yeah. It's like I have a, I have a, a, I feel like I have a higher respect than people who don't really like I get it for more like than civil other people. servants, like people that do. Yeah, like that. yeah, people yeah. don't really have an understanding of how much they do and what the sacrifice is and blah blah blah. And I don't really blame them for it. They just don't know anyone that's that's done it. And I grew up with my dad doing that. And then yeah. you know, obviously, nine eleven happened, and yeah. then I had a better understanding. Obviously, the trickle down is but easier. I feel like you know those those jobs where you have policemen, you know, EM, EMS, firemen, yeah. uh, and anyone in the military. It's like these people just wake up and they're like, I'm just going to go put my life on the line. Yeah. And and here's the other thing that's fucked up. This is the craziest thing, right? There's a giant, like, homeless veteran problem in this country. It's, yeah. It's, right? It's, it's and it only gets worse by the day. And people are still signing up for the, like, most dangerous job you can possibly have. Yeah. And going to fight for people who won't even be, guar- be guaranteed a home for the rest of their life. Right. And you like, you, like you, you oh. see what happens when people get home and it's like, it would be different. Like I, I, I th- honestly think that if you go and fight for the country and you do a tour, you should have an apartment anywhere you want. You should never have to pay for living no. ever again. It's like, dude. like in, 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 a, in, a, in a, like a, an apartment or something, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Don't just like, hand out mansions and shit, no. whatever, blah, blah, blah. But like, they shouldn't have like there Give should one be one bedroom apartment or there something. Sh- there should be stuff like that, and I- and it should be ridiculous. Like I know people are like, oh, you know, economically that doesn't really. I-, I don't care. Yeah. Like these people are going out and literally bullets are whizzing by their face and killing their yeah. friends. And, At least and- you could do is give them an apartment. The guy who's over there is fucking friends. Legs are still in Fallujah. And even when you get bring- Jesus, you get back and like you're all fucked up from PTSD because you were just like. It- you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You're just, you're just high strung that shit for sucks, four man. years. Yeah. And now you're homeless here. Like no one gives a shit. Are you kidding me? And, that's and people are still signing up for that. I know. It's crazy. And like those, like that's why I like. I'm too old. It's just <laughs> to get drafted. Yeah, I'm too old. Yeah, I mean, ain't taking my old ass. Yeah. I got a torn ACL, so I, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, someone's like, I got flat feet. I can't go. I'm like, all right, this is the least of like, you know, I'm left handed. Can't go to the army. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, that, 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 I, I'm, I'm baffled by that all the time. So I, I love to watch videos of military yeah. and like whatever because I just try so hard to get into the mind of that, of, of just completely taking yourself out of the equation and being like, none of this is for me. And it's all. For yeah, that's everyone cr- else, that's and like literally just part. putting your life on the line, and like to me, like I'm a weird dude and try to find like the meaning of life and the purpose and why are we all here kind of thing oh, like yeah, all the time. You tell him. And one, of, <laughs> and then uh, like I feel like that also kind of puts into perspective for me because like I'm over here worrying about you know what does it all mean like this and that and like these people have just erased that thought from their mind. Dude, I've seen video- like I just need to protect everyone. Dude, I've seen videos of those guys that get like like. Uh, like wounded in action and like they'll be in hospital beds and be like when can i go back yeah i'm like dude you're a fucking savage Uh, yeah yeah i'm like dude send me the fuck home i am a bitch yeah i would get a splinter and be like yo it's infected i gotta go (laughs) i think i got infected yeah no they's over there like i'm having a panic attack so it's like yeah well (laughs) there's fucking bullets Dude, i have a panic attack if like my garbage chute doesn't work correctly (laughs) God forbid somebody fucking fired a weapon at me. Jesus. Yeah, I can't even imagine, dude. You think you'll ever own a gun? Mm. At some point, right? I think at some point I'll own a gun. Um, but gotta have something. If I would love to off, not. Right? Own, I would love to not own a gun though. Like I, I like no one in my family has guns. Right. Like no one. Uh, well, that's a lie. That's a huge lie. What am I saying? I have an uncle that lives in Maine. And the guy's a psycho. He's got like a farm and shit. We were leaving his house. He was shooting off a cannon into the woods. <laughs> that's a real story. He's a, he's a blow dart. He's a sick. He's a sick man. <laughs> he's a sick he's, man. He's a sick man. Um, but I hate saying it like this, but like yo, like I wouldn't like get a gun if I lived around here. I would get a gun if I lived like in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, yeah. 
But there's so many like rules with the guns. Like a lot of it doesn't make sense to me. It's like you have to keep the gun and the bullets separate. And yeah. it's like if someone breaks into my house, I gotta now like, well, it's like arts and crafts this yeah, gun yeah. together so I get fucking. It's like that Bill Burr segment. He's like I'm running around this fucking like assembling a weapon while this guy's just in my house. Yeah. But uh, I don't know. It's I, I. It's kind of a hot take, but I think guns are like cool. But like. It's the type of guns that are just a little crazy. Like, we've talked about it before on the show. Oh, we're going gun control now? No, it's not gun control. It's just like, bro, like, it's like, yo, what's up, man? I have a safe full of AR 15. So I'm like, dude, you live in the suburbs. Yeah, why do you have all that? You yeah, know what I'm saying? I, I know. I, it's, but that woman did get killed by all those feral hogs. So we were wrong about that, too. I don't know why, but this feral hog thing has been like a huge thing with our audience. Feral hogs? Yeah. What do you mean? Like, just. Every, anything that happens with feral hogs now is just I'm constantly tagged in it, <laughs> and, and then uh, some woman was gruesomely murdered by a feral hog. I don't want to get too into it because it's sad as shit. They ate her. Yeah, and we oh. were just like, "Yo, we don't need to do that." Might need to get rid of these feral hogs now. Yeah, I might. I might have to switch my stance on the hog. I might have to switch my stance. I didn't know like a feral hog could do that. Yeah. I thought for sure I could run away from hogs. I don't know the speed of hogs. That's the thing. <laughs> but if I had an AR. I could level a bunch. Of yeah, but I'm saying, if there was a bunch of fucking feral hogs running at you. Yeah. What the fuck, man? Dude, I'll tell you this. A bunch of chickens running at me. I'm scared. Yeah, but you could punt a chicken, you know? Goose, not a, not a lot geese of Geese kind of scare me. How many? Because the geese will flex on you. They'll pull over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, dude, I'll fucking wring that neck, boy, if I want to, yeah. but I'm running away. Snap it. Um, fucking Hulk smash it. <laughs> bring it back and forth. How many chickens do you think it would take to kill you to kill me 1500 dude chickens are small dude i'll fuck a chicken up how many chickens would it take to kill you if they all had human intelligence eight <laughs> no realistically 1500 is too high i could easily kill 100 chickens just pa -pa, just fucking bapping them up you got to think about this though you're gonna get tired yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to get tired, but so are those chickens, though. You know what I'm No, saying? they're not. Yeah, I'll fuck a chicken up. And then I would also use chickens to, like, fight the other chickens. Like, I would, you like... You recruit? Yeah, I would, like, put, put them on my hands and use them as boxing gloves. And just fight chickens with chickens. Chickens can't fight, bro. Yo, they can peck you. They you can... ever see turkeys chase children? That's scary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen peacocks do that, too. Peacocks scare the shit out of me. Yo, what is a peacock, dude? Yeah, like, peacocks fucking... are like royalty birds. Like, yeah. It looks like you have on, like, a cape. Like, what the fuck is that? Why you got so many feathers? What's that for? That's what I love, like, planet Earth and shit, because they give you, like, some kind of, like... Context. Context to it. I'm like, oh, okay, that makes sense. But I'm still like, eh, it's a little much. Yeah, like, yo, why is this peacock <laughs> got, like, turquoise robe on and, like, a hat? The and, fuck is that for? And why do we not have any cool, like, defense shit? Like, we have our arms and our legs and shit, too. But I would love to fucking change colors if I was scared. Yeah, I need something else. That's I would like to be, like, a cool color. Yeah, like a, dude. Like a, have, I would love to fucking rub up against a fucking school bus and, be, like, become the same color as the bus. Oh, I would love that. Just to hide. I would have never went to school. Would have just blended in with the seat. Chameleons, dude. Brother. <laughs> Chameleons, dude. Chameleons, brother. I'm like... You ever see those octopuses? Yeah. Or octopi? Is that how you say it's multiple? Oct it's octopus. Octopus is just, it's like fish? I have no idea. Yeah, I don't know. I but they no can, idea. they can like change colors like Yeah, that. like why do we not have any of that cool Yo, shit? Yo, also octopus got eight hearts. I thought they had eight legs. No, they got eight arms they, and the shits will grow back too, but they got eight hearts or like four hearts. They got they got, eight, they got a heart per leg? They got, yeah, bro. Listen. I like how they do this though. Like they'll go. Yeah They straighten out It's pretty cool And then they shoot ink at you They could jizz on you Oh my god Yo these are the coolest animals Oh they got three hearts My bad not eight hearts They got three hearts well, though th Three is still crazy Do cows have two hearts Isn't that Or two stomachs How many Hearts does a cow have Hearts Probably one Does a cow have <laughs> It's gonna be one so They're dumb. mammals Oh A little Oh, so it, those were both rumors. There was four hearts and four stomachs. They're both wrong. All right, so the stomachs are bullshit. Yeah. Yeah. So there's that. But the octopus has four, yeah. three hearts. And you could they could cut off an arm and then just grow that bitch back. I mean, it might take some time. And we've talked about... I think we've talked about this, too. It's weird how, like, we have the worst shit that can regenerate. Hair, fingernails. Yeah, fucking cut my arm. I'll let this shit grow back. 
Why do I got to? Who cares about this? Nobody cares about this. No. This? Come on. Come on. Hair on my head. Oh, for w- what does that do? And then you could potentially lose all that at some point. Ugh. Someone's got to fix this. Someone better do something like, about this. Like, cut someone's arm off and let the shit grow back. Yeah. You can make a woolly mammoth, but you can't make my arm grow back, you yeah. dumb bitch. What the fuck are you guys studying over there at Harvard or fucking Columbia or whatever the fuck? <laughs> fucking nerds. Oxford, you idiots. Yeah. Fucking Joey Gatto building a fucking spaceship. Fucking building an arm, brother. Seriously. You're trying to go to space. We got we got problems down here, dude. Yeah. My arm's not growing back. Or, like, I lost a finger, and, like, we can't put a replacement on this bitch? Yeah, dude. We got veterans that are homeless, and I can't grow back my arms? It's fucking world's ass backwards. That's what I'm saying. We had to wait till 2018 to figure out that dairy's not actually good for us. Milk gives you strong bones. That's bullshit. What's, who's paying for all the false, false advertising all those fucking years? All that milk I drank. Yeah, and then, and then I even heard that the stuff, that the milk that they put on their face and the mustache wasn't even real milk. In the commercials? It was a mixture of glue and some kind of paste. Milk doesn't form a mustache like that. It's all bullshit. Milk has been bullshit from the beginning. It's full of milky lies. Milk mustaches are fake. You're taking a power stance against milk. I'm out on milk. I'm fucking done with milk. Oh. All milk. Oh. I don't care what piece of wheat this comes from. Oat, almond, whatever the fuck. Fuck all of it. I'm not out on vanilla almond milk. I like that. I like it too, but we got to have a stance. Okay. I'll stand with you. Breast milk is fine. I'll st- I'll stand with you. Stand with me. Breast milk's fine because not that just because it comes from tits and sister sick, but also it, you know, it's necessary and it's natural for babies. They need it. Yeah. yeah. That's why. But every all the other ones, the ones that aren't from a, a humans, fuck them. Yeah. Yeah, we shouldn't be sucking other species tits. No. I think if you want to drink milk from a cow, you got to suck it from the udder then. Yeah. You got to get down and dirty if you want that yeah, milk. Yeah, suck that fucking cow's tits. I agree. That's how it's going to happen. It, that's the only way you should be... The only way you should be allowed to have milk is if you suck it from the source. And that is a voluptuous fucking milk sack too. Suck that thing. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, you... that's all for this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, man. I get... I get... I get... Like, it's scary, like, how we were marketed things when we were kids. Dude, they used to say cigarettes were sick. Yeah. And then it was just, like, the whole, like, the got milk thing. It's like, yo, they would get your favorite athlete, put a fake fucking milk stash on them, and make you want to drink milk. Now, think about how dumb we are, though. Yeah. Why is a milk mustache something we want? <laughs> you know what? I never thought about that. It's like, that's like marketing ketchup, and it's being like, look, it stains. <laughs> You'd be like, why would I want it all over my shirt? But I will be honest with you. It did make me want that stash. Yeah, I wanted a stash, too. I was purposely pouring this milk in my dumb face so I, I could get one. It never came. They were all in, like, black and white, and they had, like, sexy poses. I'm like, damn, dude. Some, some, now it just looks like somebody jizzed on you. Someone with a thick load. Yeah. <laughs> That was so heavy. Oh, man. We were talking about Auschwitz like 30 minutes ago. (laughs) It just scares me to the point where... Milk's bullshit. Milk's bullshit. Milk milk is shit. It's all bullshit. Yeah, it's all bullshit. It's all shit. It's all shit. It's all shit. I don't even know what's real anymore because milk was was cool. Drink your milk. Oh, oh, by the way, here's another one. The food pyramid? Bullshit. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Yeah, It's not... You're not supposed to follow it. Yeah. I don't it's know. all bullshit. But then, like, I feel like everyone's just, you got to find out what works for your body, I guess. There's textbooks. Yeah. That I read as a child and was taught in school. That's what I was read as a child. And this fucking pyramid was on a poster in the fucking classroom and we had to know what it was. Oh, and yeah. it's all bullshit. Oh, yeah. They're trying to kill us. You know what? Another thing I was also thinking about, too, recently, like, uh, so I, you know how I went back to my school and spoke there? Like, I saw old teachers. Yeah. I was like, yeah, my view completely was so different when I was a kid of, like, a teacher. Like, you don't think of, like, they that they have lives. You know, it's like they're just your teacher. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, they go home and, like, have a life and, like, they have, like. You can never picture a teacher, like, going to a bar. You're like, what? You're a teacher. What are you doing? You're like, ew, what is this? Get out of here. 
But I did hear some like some stuff went down in my school between my old teachers, and I'm gonna tell it right here on the story on this fucking podcast. Are uh, they flexing? All right, so oh no, I had a teacher, right? Yeah, who dated another teacher, right? Uh huh. I had one of those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're they, married now. Oh, they were married. They were. Wait, what? So these teachers met working That's... in the same school, right? Um, they ended up having babies together sex. they were married sex for sure um and then i found out another teacher was fucking my other teacher's wife who was also a teach yeah and it happened like relatively recently to this current time and where we are now 2019. yes yes and you know what the, i think the school just like relocated like uh, the the female teacher, yeah, and left the two dudes and left the two dudes to battle to duke it out to fucking just fight fight for her fucking vagina, dude. When I heard the, dude, when I heard this story, first of all, I was like, whoa, and then I was like, kind of cool, and then I was like, ah, oh, this is fucked up. There's kids involved, but then I was like, wait, 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 I need to see this fight. I need to see this fight. Yeah, this is going down in the lunch. I need to see this. I need they to come need around here more. Lot, the parking lot, three o'clock. Nothing ever happened that cool while I was in school. I mean, that's not cool. No, but... no, no. Like a story wise, oh, like teachers oh. out here fucking each other and shit. Now that's... they got kids. Now they're fucking each other. And then also there was a rumor about one of the teachers that she got t- tag teamed once. Damn, dude, what fucking school did you go to? Right? I don't know. Fucking Beverly Hills 90210 type of school, I That's guess. It's a real housewives of Hastings High School or whatever the fuck. Yeah, it is. yeah. I feel like. Do you feel like if people. This is going to sound weird because we work together all the time, but I'm not trying to go there. But, like, do you think cause since you work with somebody so much, like, it makes you want to fuck them more? <laughs> uh. I think naturally, I mean, not me and you. No, no, no. No, but I think if you're working a school and you're just around these female teachers all the time. Yeah. Talking about I the guess, same shit. I guess. I, I don't know. I feel like a lot of people I, work I, in the, they, they meet in the workplace. You know what it is with teachers? I think that they work really hard. I, I'm one of those people also, I think that teachers are severely underpaid. Like they do yeah. a lot of fucking work. I, I like a couple of my friends are teachers and it's like insane. But, um, Oh, fucking a lot of yeah, I'm, I'm marrying one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> come on, man. Yeah, come on, man. That insurance can't come quick enough. God damn right it can't. Uh, I need that shit real bad. <laughs> oh, man. I might fucking weasel my end to that fucking marriage against yeah, gotcha. insurance. Yeah, we get the civil union, that shit. Um, <laughs> uh, but, uh, dude, her insurance is so good, too. Dude, I'm going to walk in there and just yeah. get a whole fucking new fucking asshole. Yeah, dude. I'm pretty sure with my mom's insurance when I was under that, I could have walked in and, bu- and they would have built me my own hospital. Yeah. <laughs> like, they were just like, yeah, dude, you have your own fucking doctor, dude. Yo, you see this whole thing? I want it. I don't want it anymore. Yeah. I want everything new. Yeah. And they're like, okay, cool. The top of the transplant list. Uh, <laughs> Jesus, uh, lost what I was saying. Good night. You were saying we're talking about teachers, work having sex in oh, the workplace. Oh, oh, yeah, having sex, having dirty sex in having the workplace. Dirty, filthy sex at the workplace. Dirty, filthy, hard, rough sex at the workplace. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I think that teachers like they work a lot. Yeah. So I think that when you talk to other teachers, like they get it. Yeah. You know, they understand the kind of work that you do. They know what goes into it, whatever. So I think there's a lot of venting. And I think when you're venting to someone, you are vulnerable and you're opening up and you're whatever. Vulnerable and sex go so hand in hand. Yeah, dude. When you start confessing shit, it's like, uh, we're either just friends at a bar and I just had a rough night or we're fucking. Yeah. <laughs> It's so, you know, so true. Though. It's like when you start being like, yeah, you know, and then like I just can't like, and then you know, whatever. Bobby doesn't get home until nine, and then you're and, and then figure it out, and then you start coitus, and then this, and then that, and then this, and this, and then this, and then that, and then that, yeah, and then this, oh, and then this, and then maybe even this, or that's the butthole. Yeah, 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 it is. And then this. Oh, baby! Nine months later, yeah. you gotta pay for your sins. Yes, you do. <laughs> Pay up. 18 years. You're signed on, buddy. I love how they said, like, oh, yeah, sex before marriage is a sin. A oh, whole lot of people going to hell, man. Oh, dude. Hell's going to be awesome, man. Could you be with someone that was like, yo. <laughs> hell sounds pretty cool. At least they're fucking down there. Like, listen, it's eternal fire, and, and it's probably a lot of pain. It's a little, it's a little hot. It's a little hot. But like, I like saunas. Everyone's probably just a fuck freak down there. Yeah, you got to so figure. You got to figure all You're going to catch some fucking, like, Demonic blowjobs down there. 
Yeah. Yeah, but you know what it probably is? You probably get really good ones, but you never come. That's hell. That is hell. I'll tell you what, though. I don't give a fuck where I am. I'm coming. I'm coming. <laughs> I'm coming, dude. <laughs> Uh, That's that is true words haven't been uh, those might be the most true words ever spoken into these. You could try to make me not. You could duct tape it or whatever. It, but <laughs> I'll figure it out. It's coming out over there, just like doing this. Yeah. What are you doing? Nothing. 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 I'm coming. Creating some fake fr- friction. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm cold. The wind to hell. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know, man. I feel like workplace fucks are like that happens all the time. I don't. I mean, I, I, think, I just think the work. I worked pl- in a pizzeria. No one fucked. Yeah, not. Yeah, but like I'm talking about like office settings, like not like this, like a like a we like a like people that work in offices and schools together, and like you're part of like a faculty team. You think it's they like, bang at the school? No, may, maybe. Who knows? They're fucking people, bro. I would love to know how many people are banging at work, like at the office. I I, w- I think you'd be surprised at how high the number would be oh i, w- I would be shocked because i especially remember especially the mili- like uh, we're younger now like and like oh yeah everyone's just like oh it's chill man yeah like, let's chill there's Come a beer ta- and there's a beer tap in all these offices yeah like you're sucking somebody's dick dude yes. I-, I don't care someone's what, gonna get what... drunk on a tuesday when they had too much and then yeah. someone's getting someone's getting fucked in a we work yeah. that's just how it works someone's getting banged on a beanbag yeah that's what's gonna happen right in the middle of the workplace that's another thing. These fucking these these, startup sex. Got, yeah, startup sex. You're banging on a fucking a, a foosball table yeah. or something. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, we're in the playroom. The fuck? You're adults. You have a playroom at your company? Yeah, you're 27 years old. <laughs> Stop drinking at work. I used to do that shit all the time. I used to do it all the time. I, dude, I'd be wasted. It'd be 3 o'clock in the afternoon. I'm like, what is <laughs> happening? Danny used to work for this startup company, and I actually went there. Uh, for a meeting or whatever, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I think we drank beers. Yeah, and it was like eleven a.m. I was He's like, like "Yo, we got beers. Do you want?" I was like, "Sure." And then he walked over to a tap. I was like, "What the fuck?" I was like, "Yeah, this is this is happening. This, this is, is what real. I've been doing, buddy." Yo, and I would literally stay there. I mean, this is definitely contributed to my alcoholism, but I would stay there till like seven o'clock almost every night because I was like, "Yo, the fucking beer is free." Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, that's a recipe for alcoholism. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And they would have like really good bougie, like you know, hipster beer there. Like it would it like never... Lagunitas. Yeah, it would never be trash. It would never be Bud Light. It'd be just gorgeous, gorgeous golden brown Lagunitas. <laughs> Lagunitas was my, one of my favorite beers. I love that shit. Yo, when I get a studio, I think I'm gonna do that. Even though oh, I don't great, even thanks. I don't even drink anymore, but I think by then I'll be drinking. I'm just trying to like. Oh yeah, that's right. You're on the sober rover train. Come yeah, over. Yeah, man. I've been sober for a month now. I think. You feel any better? I do. I feel a lot better. I told you. I feel better, and there is something nice about like going out and then waking up in the morning and being like, I feel fine. That's my favorite thing about it. Yeah. Once you conquer the going out aspect of it, and being like, Nah, I'm good. Cool. I'm just hanging out. Yeah. Life is so much better. The only downside is like I. Is that drinking's awesome? No. <laughs> the only downside is that amazing. when I tell people like, oh no, I'm like, I'm sober now. They look at me like I yeah. accidentally fucked a dude or something. Like, I, oh yeah. I, I had yeah. some crazy experience. But you, but you just got like, no, to get just trying to reel it in. You yeah. Know? Yeah. No, I mean, I don't care. I mean, it's whatever, but like, uh, I just get a lime and, and club soda and everyone thinks I'm drinking. Yeah. I just, uh, yeah, I'm just trying to reel it in, you know. Yeah, man, trying to get you grown up, I trying, to, s- trying to stay grown and sexy. I'm trying to, yeah, exactly. I'm trying to prove to myself that it's not an issue or it's not like a crutch. Oh uh, yeah, you know what yeah, I mean. I failed that test a couple times. No, but you know what I'm saying. Yeah, like, I do. I sometimes you go through times where you drink a lot and you're like, oh man, I'm just like doing it like yeah. for no reason or whatever. Yep. Because even even like I'm I like craft beer, so I would occasionally just have like a one ten percent beer. Yeah, which is a heavy beer, but like, dude, I remember you <clears> said <throat> those at your old apartment. I would crush th- like three of those. Yeah, dude, and, and just be, be like fucked. Yeah, and just be like, oh, I'm a bet on the Jets. Me and <laughs> it's fucking drunk as shit. Me and Danny used to sit in the office at my old apartment, and I had a beer fridge right next to my desk. Oh, and we would drink, and I mean, we wouldn't do it all the time. We did it maybe like four times. Yeah, yeah. But 
those four times, it was like snowing out, and we're like, "Oh, you're you're probably gonna stay the night and just get fucking wrecked the but, whole day." But those are some of my greatest drunk memories, though. Yeah, those were like fun. those were all amazing nights. Nothing bad ever happened. Yeah, it was no. just amazing. Yeah, it was fun. And you felt safe, and there was a fire there. Oh, it was a fire. Yeah, and I was just like, dude, nothing can hurt me right now. Yeah, yeah. I'm just so drunk and happy. <laughs> You know what I mean? But then you it's the morning. It's the morning. It's when you wake up and you're just like, ah, my life. Dude, you know what it was? <laughs> I, I would just like, I, I would hear, um, I don't know. I think it was just because it was happening consecutively for me for these last couple of times. Yeah. Where where I was like drunk, drunk. And I'm just like, oh my God. I'm, I felt like such a fucking loser, dude. Yeah. Like I was just like, oh, I don't even remember saying that, you know? And like, like that's never happened to me. <laughs> No, but the, yeah, like the Hitler comment. No, but like that's never happened to me where like I usually remember everything and then I wake up and I'm like, maybe I said one thing that wasn't crazy or whatever. But then not that I'm saying wild shit, but uh, the, these last couple of times that I was like really drunk, I like didn't remember a lot. So I was like, dude, this is starting to become scary. like a pattern. A and I was scary. like, I'm not going down this road. So I just try. I'm just reeling it in. And so I feel I feel great. When though. did you have uh, for lack uh, the come to Jesus meeting, though? Like uh, with yourself, just like you know what, I'm a, I'm gonna shut it down for a bit. I think like I I, I have an idea, but tell the audience because I remember you told me you were like, yeah, I think I'm gonna stop doing it. Well, I just like it was just like a bunch of things. It it it's it was just like the block of time. Like alcoholism like runs rampant in my family, <laughs> so yeah, like yeah. uh you know a, a lot of people have had to you know go through periods of time where they had to like reel it in or they had to stop completely yeah or like whatever or some people still have that problem uh but i just don't want to fall into that charlie is charlie it's the dog uh <laughs> <laughs> um but i just don't want to fall into that so i just felt like yo like once you start blacking out consistently you're like okay i'm i'm, I'm not doing that because like i don't feel like i i need to do it no you're too old to black out though yeah. That's the thing, too. Yeah, like, dude, I'm not 22 at a college bar like, yeah. Alabama! Yeah, yeah. It's just like, Roll Tide! And that's just Someone thing. suck my nipples. I don't know what it was, honestly. And then I, I, I honestly, like, I felt like uh, it, I, like, I gained a bunch of weight, and I Good. wasn't eating well. Got a little fat. Yeah. yeah. I gained a bunch of weight. I wasn't eating well. and I'm not, I mean, I'm not judging. I mean, I, I don't, no, dude, I'm the boy, boy the, myself, but I'm just letting you know. No, that's we're how in the it, we're in the era of Chunk Joe. Make no mistake, we're make no mistake. Right now, we're in we're in the era of Chunk Joe. I love Chunk Joe, but I just it, you, that's not. The it's Joe. just not that's gonna not, happen. That's not the Joe I need right it's now. It's just not gonna happen. There's only though. one room for a chunk, <laughs> chunky boy here. Yeah, man. So like stealing my gimmick. I am. It can't be. It can't be two chunks yeah, over here. I can't put your face on a still fat shirt. No, that would be stupid. <laughs> and I'm also in that middle ground where people are just like, "You're not fat." I'm like, yeah, but yeah, but I don't want anyone to ever say that to me ever. Like, yo, you're not fat. It means you're fat. It means that you're not. <laughs> it's, it, you know what it means? It doesn't mean that you're fat. It means like, but yeah, dude. <laughs> but you could do some. People be like, dude, you're not fat. I'm like, eh, yeah, all right. I'm fat. Yeah, all right, but you're just like big. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I see it every day. Yeah. Yeah. Um, no, but but whatever. I mean, I'm happy that you're doing that. No, yeah, I just feel like like it's the I mean, best thing for you. Because you know what it was. I mean, obviously, alcohol. You do that. You wake up. You feel like an idiot, regardless if you did nothing. You feel yeah, like oh, yeah. I feel like shit. I feel like whatever. You're less productive. You're not ready to start your day. Then you're, you're gonna eat like, like shit after. And then that you're gonna too. eat like shit, or like you eat shit late night yeah. and like whatever. And after doing that consistently, you put on some pounds. But yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, I mean, I put on like 10, 12 pounds like fast. That's what's up. Well, not fast, but like three months. Is that fast? Um, I feel like I could yeah. gain if I, if I really had to. I could gain that faster. Yeah, I but. mean, you could get over two bills. Yeah, uh, that'd be ri yo. If I was, what's the most you ever weighed? Like one ninety two. You could easily get the two bills. Yeah, but that was bad. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That was like 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 right now. I think I'm like I'm close. I'm probably like one eighty seven right now. Yeah. What do you have an eye? Do you have a you don't have to share it on here, but do you have like a goal weight in your yeah, head? Yeah, 170. You can get there. Yeah, I mean, I intend to. It's tough. I would like anything in the 70s, to be honest with you. I dude, just want to get down there. You don't drink for three months, you'll be one under 180 <laughs> yeah. in a second. Yeah. Dude, I stopped drinking. I lost like 33 pounds. And then I just started eating garbage. <laughs> yeah, I you know. know. It's a lot of like calories that you don't 
account for, you know? Yeah, man. And that's also why I wanted to do boxing because it's like I work out and I like run and shit, but I hate running. So the most I can possibly run in one sitting is like two to three miles. And then I'm like, oh, I'm fucking bored or like whatever. With boxing, it's You'll like burn a more sport. calories too. Yeah, easily. Yeah. Dude, I was f- soaked. Yeah. So it was like a lot of fun, but. You should wear a heart rate monitor next time. Why? Just to see like how much, how much, how, how much, much you burn. Yeah, how much you burnies. Yeah, man. Take all health advice from me. <laughs> all right. So I will tell you exactly what not to do. Exactly. You know? Because, like, you're, I remember being where you are, like, that, that beautiful hill, mountain. Like, you could turn back, dude. It's a beautiful, beautiful place down there. Don't go over that dark road. Don't go down that hill. I'm yeah. not talking about alcohol. I'm talking about getting fat. Yeah. I'm talking about getting chunky. Yeah, you know? ch- Chunk Joe. Chunk Joe, you could easily just, just walk back down the hill, man. Everyone's waiting for you. Come on. Yeah, we're, walk, we're walking. Yeah, we're, that's I mean, what I'm saying. It's a slow walk. Oh, yeah. You don't want to fall down the hill. Oh, you can't. That you would be to, dangerous. Yeah, you wanna, I'm you not going to cut like a UFC fighter or anything. No, 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 no. no. Let's just take a nice stroll. Lose a pound here or there on the walk, and you're good. You're going to be yeah. fucking... Eating fucking jello shots out of your belly button by, by the end of this time. Yeah. I, I honestly, like, I, yeah, I need to just. Dude, you got this, bro. I'm not worried about it. Like, I'm, you know what it is? I, it got to the point where I was like, yo, there, like, you can't go on living like this. There's another thing, too. It's like, listen, like, I, I've, like, perfected fat culture. Yeah. I'm very good at it. I can't just step into being fat. I, I don't think you could handle it. I don't think you could. I don't think you could handle the lifestyle. It's What's t- that? Just like I don't think you could pull together the fat swag. No, I don't think I could, man. Yeah, the flag would be hard for you. Yeah, especially because I've been I've been twink my whole life. That's what I'm saying, dude. Don't do it now. Don't do it now. You got this. No, I'm, I'm fucking proud of you, dog. Listen, I thank you, man. I appreciate I'm that. Man. Proud of you, dog. You know, and I didn't get Joe sober. He did it himself. So if anyone ever comments on this, be like, oh. Blah, blah. Yeah, no, no, no. That wasn't that wasn't that. And also, right. I'm not like like if someone's like, oh man, because like like I said, I'm into craft beer. It's like, oh, this beer's good. Like, do you want to try it? I'm like, yeah, I'll try. It. I'm yeah, not like gonna yeah. fucking fall off a cliff or anything. But it's not gonna be shotgun and beers or drinking Jack and Cokes at 10:30 in the morning. Anymore. Yeah, that I'm not gonna do. Yeah, I'm just gonna st- stop doing that. And also, like, I'll have a glass of red wine with like a fucking nice dinner or something. Yeah, man. You know. But other than that, wine I'm, has I'm health done. benefits. Other than that, I'm I'm done for the foreseeable foreseeable future for the foreseeable future yeah man I am unless, off you the get, sauce. unless you get permafrosted yeah then if i got permafrosted i would definitely come out and see what all kind of fucking new eighteen thousand years of drug uh fucking evolution gotta try it i'd re- i'd relapse hard yeah they probably have some sick drugs in eighteen thousand years from now yeah dude like somehow like 90 percent alcohol beers that taste like water i'd be like dude i need all that no yeah Oh, dude, you should have tried that fucking moonshine in Nashville. Oh, man. This is pre-sober Joe and peak chunk Joe. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> this moonshine was like 70 proof or some shit. It was the most disgusting thing I've Getting ever Getting ugly, yeah. It was so gross. It burned all the way down. I don't understand how people drink that and they're like, yeah. I'm like, dude, this is gross. Because they live in the woods. Yeah, and they're just true. like, oh, God, I just need to get away from my wife. I need white lightning in me. Yeah, I need some blue lightning or blue flame, whatever the fuck it's called. Yeah, I don't dude, even know. You need a doctor. Yeah. It's like, dude, you need to see a therapist. <laughs> All right. That's what you need. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> therapy. <laughs> I'm not doing therapy. I'm not going to see no therapist. Therapist, that's for pussies. Therapy's gay. Therapy, <laughs> therapy's for the gays and for pussies. And possibly even the Jews. <laughs> Hand me my moonshine ask me go to therapy gay shit like that. <laughs> Don't ever ask me some Jew stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, nah, Tommy, Tommy came over here earlier talking about a bunch of Jew stuff, talking about <laughs> therapy. It's bullshit. Don't let that motherfucker back in this house. You hear me? I love when people do stuff like that. Yo, there's people like that in the world, dude. I know, it's great. I'm not saying all Southern people like that. Obviously not, but there are some people that would... But they do do have Southern accents. But but their entire ideology would be that the only reason they don't go to therapy is because it's gay. Or for the Jews. Or it's for the Jews. Yo, honestly, like... (laughs) Oh, God. You heard Tommy say when he came over here? You heard Tommy? He came over here? (laughs) Talking Jew nonsense. Talking Jew nonsense. (laughs) 
barely understand them. It's bullshit. What happened to this country? <laughs> Hand me a beer, babe, would you? Now. <laughs> God damn it. I said, hand me a beer. Oh, man. Gotta love it. I got my therapy right here. <laughs> <laughs> Here's your therapy. Good old Bud Light. Some Bush Light. Old Milwaukee. Therapy. Why don't you go slam... My dad used to say it to me all the time. Not about therapy, but he... I would say something like, if I said I was bored or something, he'd be like, why don't you go slam your head against the wall? <laughs> so he said to me all, all the time. Does, why, I, why don't you go slam your head against the wall? Maybe then you won't be bored. I was like, Dad, I'm not going to do that. Awesome parenting. Yeah, that yeah. was his thing. Go, why don't you go slam your head against the wall? It was great. Yeah, I don't think my dad really cared about my problems much either when I was a kid. He'd be like, oh, yeah, all right. Well, uh, try working. <laughs> Why don't you get a job? That's the thing. You don't have enough responsibilities, and you think you're overthinking things because you don't have enough stuff to do. Go get a fucking job. I'd be like, yeah. No. That's not it, Dad. No, 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 no. I have anxiety. 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 Driving oh. five kids. I'm like, dude, can you just <laughs> meet me at some middle ground here and just be like, hey, man. Panic get... attacks. I'll give you a panic attack. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look, go get the Con Ed bill on the fridge. That's a panic attack. <laughs> I'll be like, Dad, please just meet me halfway with my fucking insecurities here. You just be like, I can't. Yeah, you think you got problems? I'm paying for your sister's fucking wedding. Try that. <laughs> Ain't talk to me about problems. I didn't even want a daughter. $10,000 for a fucking cake. I didn't even want a daughter. Your mom goes and has a daughter. Idiot. Her too. I told her specifically not to. Try getting married. There's your panic attack. Yeah. You idiot. Go slam your head against the wall. <laughs> we love our dad. I love this shit. Uh, Joe, I was like, we love our dad. Joe didn't say anything. He's like, what? No, it's fucking. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Man, that. <laughs> Therapy's gay. That's somebody's ideology. It really is. That is so funny, man. We want me going there whining like a woman? Fucking gay. <laughs> you want me to go see some Jew gay about my problems? <laughs> stop. Please stop. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, man. It's so fun. Oh, Jesus. It's so fun. It's just really so fun. That was a great bit. bit. That, that was, was a great man. bit, man. <laughs> I just got to call him out when I see him from now on. Just got to, sometimes you got to, you know, that one's being etched into stone. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck. Oh, so uh, new therapy is gay merch coming out. Yeah. (laughs) Someone's going to. You guys should make merch. Oh, man. Oh, This should be merch. Yo, some people (laughs) would write in the comments, like, this should be merch. And it's the most, like, fucking under the radar doesn't make oh, yeah. any sense on a shirt kind of line and i'm like oh man the ideas are not for you yeah you know we thank you for trying but yeah you know go bang your head against the wall <laughs> oh, how right? does that sound yeah for sure <laughs> it's got to be the name of this episode oh yeah go bang your head against the wall i love when we figure that out early yeah i know so yeah, <laughs> <the> job <laughs> gets my easier. job gets so much easier <laughs> there's been so many times me and daniel are like what should we name this episode and then we sit in, in your chairs facing each other and we go what the fuck did we talk about <laughs> oh, then we have to basically listen to like the entire episode again oh, idiots all idiots. right um i think we could wrap up here yeah um danny you can find me at Danny LaPriori on Instagram and Twitter. And please make sure to go check out the Stank Podcast. Uh, we got a lot of great new content coming out. Uh, it's YouTube.com slash the Stank Podcast. I didn't know if I was going to plug the Instagram or the YouTube first. But uh, go to YouTube.com slash the Stank Podcast. I fucked it up again. And then Instagram at the Stank Podcast. Come hang out. Me and Frankie talking video games, movies, comics, and sometimes sex. <laughs> Um, and uh, you guys can follow me at Joe Sanagato. Go follow the Basement Yard on Instagram at the Basement Yard and our Patreon. Uh, we thank you to everyone who is donating to our Patreon, uh, patreon.com slash the Basement Yard. And go check out other people's lives, another show that I do with uh, my buddy Greg. It's available anywhere you want to get your podcast. Uh, I think at the moment that this comes out, we might be in between seasons, but there's a lot of cool episodes that we came out with this season, so go check those out. 
and backlog we, that shit. Yeah, and we are going to we're actually revamping the show. Yeah. So when we do come back, it's gonna be a lot better. Yeah. So definitely look forward to that. And that is all. See you guys next time. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh,